solving a system of quadratic quadratic equations. So when solving a system consisting of two quadratic equations, there are four cases to consider. Now, case number one. So guys, um, let's say the blue curve represents the first quadratic equation. And the green curve represents the second quadratic equation. Now, the points of intersections represent the solutions to the system, right? The point of intersections represent the solutions to the system. So in this case, we will say the solution to be here and here, right? So this one is uh, when x is 1, y is 0. And this one is when x is 4, y is negative 3, right? Then we will say 1, 0 and 4, negative 3 are the two solutions to the system of equations, OK? Now, case number 2, we can have a parabola that goes like this, another parabola that goes like this. And they just happen to touch at one point. They only intersect at one point. And that very point will be the only solution to the system. So in, the, in this case, that would be, looks like x is at negative 1, y is at 3. And we will say negative 1 and 3 is the only solution to the system. Now, the two parabola can also have no intersections, right? like in this case. And in this case, we will say, for this system of equations, there are no solutions. Now, case number four is interesting. You can also have the first quadratic equation that looks like this. And then the second quadratic equation that goes like this as well. And they completely overlap. Guys, for two equations that completely overlap, how many times do they intersect each other? Infinite times, right? Then we will say, in this case, there are infinite number of solutions. Okay? So in the following example, I'll be going over questions that represent each case.